the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video let us see how a regular teaching aid can be adapted for uh, visually impaired children you know this is a regular geometry box so what we have uh, done we have taken the devices and adapted them for the benefit of visually impaired children so what we have done taken a needle and uh, made a hole for every centimeter of the scale you know this is tactile in nature so the child will be able to identify 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on then suppose you say uh, four and a half centimeters you know the child will be able to identify one two three four now next is five the child will be able to get an approximate measurement of uh, uh, four and a half that is between four and five so as this is a visual concept you know the accuracy cannot be expected in the case of visually impaired children but somewhere between four and five that should be okay similarly for every inch we have made uh, a hole so ensure that uh, the braille reading finger of the child is not hurt uh, so you make uh, the hole in such a way that it is smooth you know if you are interested you can take uh, a glue and uh, just uh, put uh, uh, glue on top of uh, the hole like this then after some time it will get dried and then it will be smooth you know for the child to explore it will be smooth so it is not uh, uh, rough uh, these are very smooth you know after some time it will become dry right and uh, for example you take uh, the protractor now here what we have done you know taken uh, every tenth angle right take the needle and then uh, pierce it for every tenth angle 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and then 100 uh, it goes on up to 180 suppose you ask the child to measure angle 115 the child will understand okay so 90 and then 100 110 so 115 is somewhere between 110 and 120 so the child will be able to point out this as the 115 so if you draw a line and ask the child to measure 115 the child will get an approximate angle of 115 so again if you just want to make you know small dots on the angles then uh, after some time this will become dry and uh, the uh, it will be smooth right and the child will be able to handle it uh, with ease so this is how the regular teaching aids can be adapted for the benefit of the visually impaired child so we have not made a separate teaching aid we have taken a regular teaching aid and made simple adaptations that will be extremely useful for visually impaired children. If you apply your creativity and divergent thinking, so you will come to understand every teaching aid that you take may be converted for the benefit of visually impaired children. What is important is not the visual attraction, it is the tactile attraction which is important so this is a classic example of how a locally available teaching aid can be adapted for the benefit of visually impaired children